this is Sam from Practically Posh Life, and today I am bringing you the much-awaited What I Got My Kids for Christmas 2018 video. So sit back, relax, and stay tuned because this is going to be such a fun video with hopefully lots of great ideas for the little ones in your life. Okay, so before I jump into it, if you are new, welcome, um, and if you are um, someone who's watched my videos before and are a subscriber, thank you, and hopefully you will enjoy this video. Um, if you're new, I have two little girls. I have a three-year-old and an almost five-year-old. She will be five two weeks before Christmas, so throughout the video, I may just call her five-year-old. Um, so because she is born two weeks before Christmas, I'm going to be showing you what she's getting for her birthday and combining it with also what she's going to be getting for Christmas along with her sister. Um, these toys and gifts I hope are appropriate for I think anyone ages, I would say two, three, up through about six, seven. Um, and I think that there's a lot of variety here that would appeal to boys, girls, anything. So hopefully you'll find it helpful. And um, I am going to be doing a series of videos this season. Um, so if you have not subscribed, you probably want to subscribe if you enjoy videos like this because I still have the stocking stuffer video to film. I'm also going to be showing you what's going to be in my kids' Christmas Eve box. And I'm doing something new this year where I'm also going to be kicking off the month of December with a little basket of treats and different activities each week um, and an advent calendar. So I'm also going to film a video showing you what we're going to do this month and what some of the treats each week are going to be. So with that said, let's jump into the what I got my kids for Christmas. All right, so let's start with my daughter's birthday. So she's turning five. We did not get a ton of birthday gifts, but the reason is because she's having a huge birthday party with like 20 something friends. So she's gonna get a ton of presents and it's really hard when you have to tell 20 something sets of parents what your kid is interested in without duplicates or without, hey, I already got that for her or she's getting it for Christmas. So we really tried to like lay off birthday gifts to just kind of see what she gets because my sense is she's gonna get a ton of stuff. Um, so we really didn't need to do much. So the one thing she asked us for for her birthday was a board game and it is Pop the Pig. She has been asking for this for a while. This is all she asked for. She asked for this um, and a chick, uh, like a literal like little chick toy. Um, but that, that was it. So I'm, I'm loving this age and gonna ride this train till the wheels fall off where all they ask for is a board game and a little toy bird. <laughs> Um, but so we got her pop the pig. This runs about $15, $16. And I think if you wait till Black Friday, it's about $10 at, at least at Walmart or Target. So that was one of her gifts. As I mentioned, she asked for a chick. So I got her this little live pets chick and it hatches and it chirps and hops around. And I got this at Target. I think it was about 20 bucks. The other thing she's getting is a blanket. So this is a My Little Pony blanket. Um, we are blanket people in this house and they have a huge Peppa Pig blanket that they share, but sharing is not their strong suit. So it was abundantly clear that she needs her own blanket because sharing with her little sister is not working out. So she's getting a blanket for her birthday as well. And then the only other thing, oh, the big birthday gift for her is, I don't know if I can even get the whole thing in frame, this B. Dot marble Palooza. And it's basically a gigantic marble run. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put this down. Um, and this was something that we've been touring different kindergartens, and that's a whole different story. But one of the things that she was fascinated by was a marble run, and we thought it was pretty cool too. And um, I felt like this is a great gift that I don't think anyone's going to buy her something that this that's this big. It's not super expensive, but I just don't think that this is something that any of the other parents are going to get her. Um, and it's a great STEM activity, a great learning activity. She can put it together and see how the marble works. Um, and there are a lot of different kinds of marble runs that you can get. We picked this one because it just looks really cool. It lights up. I'm a sucker for snazzy and flashy things. So this one got great reviews, and I got this at Target. Um, and I believe it's about $29.99 retail price and you can get it on sale. Um, or you, if I have, I have, um, the target red card, so I got it for about 5% off. Um, but even $29.99 for a large size marble run is a good price. So that is everything she's getting for her birthday. And that is four gifts. 
Um, the only other thing she's getting are a pair of sneakers. Uh, she's not really going to consider that a gift, but um, she is going to get them. Her birthday theme this year is unicorns, so we got her a pair of sneakers that have unicorns on them. And I will give that to her before her birthday so that she can wear it for her party. But in case you're curious, they're just a pair of bands. And they're high tops, and they're sparkly, and have unicorns. I really think she's going to like it. Um, but she will get this before her birthday so that she can wear it to her birthday party with her little um, unicorn outfit. So that is everything she's getting for her fifth birthday. Now on to Christmas, which is coming faster than I realized. I'm looking out the window right now, and I'm looking at about six inches of snow outside. Um, and it is mid-November. Like, where did the time go? I've been picking up a lot of this stuff throughout the year. So some of this is from the Toys R Us clearance sale. Some of it is from just different sales that I picked up along the way. Um, so I finished a lot of my Christmas shopping by like November 1st. I was done. The last bit I was waiting on was the Target toy sale. Um, and I got a couple of things during that. Um, and then there's one other toy that I will tell you about. And if I figure out how to do it, I will insert a picture of it. No particular order. Let's get started for Christmas. So from the Toys R Us clearance sale, I picked up this Kinetic Sand ice cream truck set. I think it was about seven bucks um, on clearance at Toys R Us, and this is going to be for my five-year-old. The other thing I picked up from the Toys R Us clearance sale is this musical foaming bathtub by Baby Born, and this one is really cute. Um, they don't have a bathtub for their baby doll, so I thought that this was a great clearance item to pick up, and I paid about $15 for it. Right now, it retails for about $30 to $40, so I got it at the Toys R Us clearance sale for $15, and I'm going to give this one to my three-year-old. They share everything, so it really doesn't matter, but it will be wrapped up and given to the three-year-old. All right. In the learning category... I have um, two toys that I think best fit their learning needs and where they're at right now. For my five-year-old, we're focused on sight words and reading. So I got this Leap Reader. It comes with 10 books and a reading pen. And this electronic pen, you program it at your computer first, and then when you tap the words on the pages of the book, it reads the words out loud and helps her sound it out. So I think she's really gonna enjoy this and it's gonna allow her to focus on reading. I got this at Walmart, um, and it retails for about $50. Um, this one was not on sale, so it was about $50. And then my husband picked up this one for our three-year-old, and it is the Leap Frog Go With Me ABC Backpack. And she's three and just starting to learn how to write her letters, um, and that's really what we're focusing on is her recognizing the letters and writing them. So this allows them every letter that's in here, these letters come out, and when you push them in, they sound out the letter. It also tells you different animals or words that are associated with that letter. And then this has a little pencil, and she can write on this magnetic board and erase it, and you just pull this down to erase it, and she can keep practicing her writing skills. So I think that this is really cool, and what's even cooler about it is it turns into a backpack. So I don't know if you guys can see that but it folds up on the go and she can wear it as a backpack wherever she goes. So I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, on to the next. So Peppa Pig, we are still heavy into Peppa Pig. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. So this year they have a lot of new Peppa toys out and the one that we selected for our three-year-old is Peppa Pig's Fair. This looks so cool. I'm not three, but I feel like my husband and I are going to be down on the ground playing with her with this. This is just so cool. And with all the other Peppa toys she has, I feel like we're building a little village. Um, so this is just going to be a lot of fun with that big Ferris wheel and all the games and activities. This is a Walmart exclusive. So I got this for, I want to say about $35 at Walmart. All right. And... My five-year-old is going to be getting a Barbie toy that is coming in the mail on Monday. It's an interactive horse. I will insert a picture of it. Um, it's basically a um, Barbie doll that comes with a horse that when you push the button, the horse walks and moves around, and it's an interactive horse. And I got that for a fantastic deal. It's part of the Black Friday sale that started early at BJ's Wholesale, which is kind of like a Costco or Sam's Club. That thing normally retails for $100. I would not buy that for $100, but BJ's had it on sale for $39.99. That I would pay. 
So that is what she is getting. She's uh, she's not getting a Peppa toy, but she's going to be getting this Barbie horse with the Barbie doll. All right. And then one of the toys that are pretty popular this season that they saw in the toy catalog and immediately circled and really wanted were Fingerlings Hugs. So each one is going to be getting a fingerlings hug. I have Bella and I have Boris. My five-year-old will be getting Boris and my three-year-old will be getting Bella. Um, these retail for $29.99. Uh, I got these at Target during the toy sale, so I got 25% off each of them. Um, so total, uh, coupled with my discount having a red card, it ended up being like, I think, $40 for the two of them. Somewhere around there. So I think they're going to love it. It is interactive. When you push the button, um, you the, it makes a sound, it talks, it makes different noises. When you throw it in the air, it makes noises. It goes to sleep and the eyes close. So that's pretty cool. And then when you push the ear, it can record your voice and play it back to you. So um, either way, I think they're going to love that. Um, and I think that this is one that the fingerlings may not have worked well for like a two or three year old. This would because it's soft, it's plush, it's cuddly. So I think that kids of all ages will enjoy the Fingerlings Hugs toy. And I thought it was at a really good price point for all of the different features that it has. Okay, so now we're getting into the land of board games and Barbies. So for board games, each kid is going to be getting a board game. My five-year-old is going to be getting Greedy Granny. She specifically asked for this game uh, in addition to Pop the Pig. So we're going to be giving her this game for Christmas. And then my three-year-old is getting Don't Step In It, the Unicorn Edition. So I got this on Amazon months ago. Um, Don't Step In It is just a really popular game this season, and it looks like a lot of fun for all ages. So we are super excited to play this. Um, and the Unicorn Edition is exclusive to Amazon. It's really hard to find at this point, um, but just keep checking back. Um, and they do restock it in small quantities every once in a while. So that's what I did. I just daily checked and eventually it popped up available and I snagged it. Um, and this game ranges, this one was, I think about 1999. Um, but you can also look for this on Black Friday, the regular Don't Step In It edition. Um, and it should be between 10 and $15 at either Walmart or Target. I think they've got a lot of board games on sale for Black Friday. Okay, so now into the world of Barbies. So before I get into all the Barbie stuff, I want to give you some context. So Santa and I collaborated. Um, you know, Santa, you know, talked with uh, mommy and daddy <laughs> and coupled with what the girls wanted. The girls asked Santa this year for a dollhouse. And mommy and daddy agreed that a dollhouse makes perfect sense and that's a great gift for Santa to bring the girls. Um, Santa did a lot of research and we believe that he's going to be bringing them a very large wooden dollhouse. It is the Kid Craft Majestic Mansion dollhouse. I will try to insert a picture of it. I don't have it here. It is a very large item and it is still at the North Pole, but I will do my best to insert a picture of it. Um, you can find this item at a variety of different places but it is about four feet tall. It is gigantic. And the reason why um, that was really the best dollhouse for them is because it is two of them playing with it. Lots of space for them to move around together and play with the house. Um, and it fits anything from little toys like LOL dolls all the way up through, you know, nine, 10, 11 inch Barbies. And that's what we really wanted that flexibility to play with all their different dolls and figurines in that dollhouse and not feel like it was really specific to LOLs or really specific to Barbies because they have so many and they break all the rules. They, they play with Peppa figures and baby doll carriages. They, they do whatever they want. And it was important that they have a dollhouse that could stand the test of time, was classic and durable and could really play with any kind of doll absent their like 18 inch baby dolls but any type of their little figurines they can interchange and play in that and I didn't feel like it was specific to a certain type of doll which is why we didn't go with like the lol house which came out and was pretty cool and we were tempted to look at or the barbie house um so this wooden doll house we we're super excited about and santa will be delivering that on christmas eve so to go with that doll house mommy and daddy have got a lot of different Barbie dolls and accessories, and we are so excited that they are finally into Barbies. So one of the first things that my husband picked up were these. And these are the Barbie Skipper Babysitter Ink Sets. 
This one is the babysitter babysitting a little girl in a stroller. And what's cool is it has a compartment for her to put her hands and push the stroller and it does roll. And the little girl bounces up and down while the stroller is moving. So it's a really cool set. And then this one is just um, feeding the baby and it comes with a little baby with a high chair and food on the high chair. It all moves as well as a little crib. And then because I love made to move Barbies and I love Barbies that bend at the knee and the arms, I did pick up these two made to move Barbie dolls. So I will show them to you. These are really cool because they have joints at the knees and the elbows. So it's going to be a lot easier for them to sit the dolls down, play with the dolls, do a lot of different things. Right now with the existing Barbies they have, they tend to get frustrated that the legs stick out straight and don't bend and they it's harder to get them into things. So these two... Um, each one will get um, one of these. So each one will get a Barbie Skipper babysitter set and each one will get a made to move Barbie doll. And I found these on Amazon for about 15 or $16. So they're more expensive than your seven, $8 Barbies, but I think they're worth it because again, they've got the articulation that the other ones do not. These I found at Walmart. Um, so I think my husband picked this one up. Yeah, he picked them both up at Walmart and they're about 17, $18. But you can find these at Walmart, Target, or online. So that, I think, is everything. Gosh, when I was unloading my Christmas closet, I felt like I just kept pulling out bags. So, but that is everything that my kids are going to be getting. The only thing, again, is not here is the big Santa gift and the, um, the Barbie with the horse that my um, five-year-old is going to be getting, and that should come next week in the mail. Um, just to give you a heads up on what the grandparents are getting, um, my parents are getting a big Barbie SUV, so that's already been picked up, and that was about 25 bucks at Walmart.com, and it was like a big purple SUV that seats four different Barbie dolls. Um, and then we also picked up um, this Barbie Sisters snow set, and that was like the deal of a lifetime is at Target. It has three different Barbie dolls in it and a jet ski or like a, no, it's not a jet ski. This is snow. So it's like a snowmobile. There you go. It's a snowmobile. It retails for $39.99, but because there was like an error on the Target website, it was on my website app for $14 on clearance. So in store, it was $39.99, but when I went to customer service and showed them that it was $14 on the website, they price matched the website. Um, so I called my parents and they were like, get it, please. So I picked it up. Um, and so that's what one of the girls is going to be getting, um, from my parents. And again, it was a great deal. I think the website has been adjusted at this point and it now shows $39.99, but either way to get three Barbies and a snowmobile for $14 was an amazing deal. So that's everything. I think my kids are going to have an amazing Christmas. There's a lot of different toys that I didn't get that I was tempted to, some that I got and returned. Um, so if you look at the thumbnail for this video, you may see stuff in there that I didn't cover and it's probably because I returned it or changed it to something different. Um, I have struggle with um, getting too much or what direction I want to go in. So I tend to buy and then think about it and then return and then switch it out for different things. Um, so if you want me to do a video on what I didn't buy but wanted to, I can do that for you. And I can tell you all the hot toys that I looked at that I was tempted to get or actually did get and then ended up returning. But either way, hopefully you found this video helpful. Again, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you are interested in seeing some other videos from me this season around what my kids' stocking stuffers are going to be, um, what we're getting in their Christmas Eve box, and then what we're going to be doing for their little treats throughout the month of December, please be sure to subscribe so that you can get notified when those videos go up. Hopefully all of you are getting your holiday shopping going and this video was helpful and inspiring you. And I look forward to seeing